Hey you guys, it's your favorite best-selling author, Tracy White, coming at you live from North Carolina, number one online store owner. So, I'm going to make this video not quick, but quick because it is getting a little dark out here and I want to get this video done while the lighting is still somewhat good. I'm on my balcony and if you guys don't mind me showing you real quick, this is my view. I love being out in nature, so this is my view. Lots of trees and stuff like that. I love watching helicopters go by, or that's not a helicopter. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> I like to see them. But um, I wanna jump right into the point. Um, I don't really get too personal about myself, but um, I'm gonna share this one thing in particular because I feel like it's so important. Um, a lot of people who are close to me know that I have not been in a real in a relationship at least a serious one in a really long time um, me and my boyfriend have actually been together for a year we just celebrated our one year anniversary on our birthdays we're one day apart um, super excited about that but um, so I've came to the conclusion the other day that um, in my opinion I feel like there's an attack on black love I feel like there's an attack on black relationships and you know this is no shade towards anybody that is not african-american but when i say an attack on black love and black um uh, black relationships i'm talking about black men black women um you know but i'm just gonna jump right into it so while i was in my thoughts about this i wrote down um some things that well not some things but i wrote down something that actually you know help me to calm down my mind to calm down my heart and um, I'm just gonna read it to you guys and you know you can you can try this you know see if it works for you but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and read it to you and you guys you know leave a like share subscribe leave a comment for your girl tell me you know what you think but um, let me share this with you real quick okay so enemy you cannot have me and my your significant other's name enemy you cannot have me and my boyfriend's relationship enemy you have no power over me and my boyfriend's relationship we are stronger together almighty grace bless my husband you know the person that I'm with give us divine strength to overcome the events that took place between us yesterday and today and I actually um, I read that three times in the morning I read it um, you know I just I just read it throughout the day and you know when I hug him or it's another this time it's the helicopter <laughs> I love I love watching helicopters go by but um, yeah so I just you know I just read that all throughout the day you know when I hugged him you know I was saying it in my mind you know getting it in my subconscious mind that way, um, you know, when things start to come to the surface, you know, he might make me angry or I might make him angry, but I planted that seed that, you know, enemy, you cannot have this relationship. You don't have no power over, you know, my relationship, over his relationship with me. Because one thing that I'm learning is that, um, you know, there's, there's gonna be struggles. There are going to be you know outside people looking in there are going to be you know people asking questions like oh are you still with him are you still with her you know and and just all types of things and stuff like that and you know it's really a priority to me you know to protect our home to protect our our relationship at all costs you know what i mean um one way that i do that is that we don't allow people to come into our home um you know and if they do come in the most um they'll come in as far as like the kitchen or like we have like a little um hallway like when you first open a door and things like that but as far as like you know coming into our actual personal space you know what i mean we really do not allow people to come into our home and you know i've expressed to my boyfriend you know why I feel like that you know because you never know what people are bringing in with them from the outside and not to mention you know a while back I actually heard a pastor say 
that everybody shouldn't even be in your home because that's when the jealousy starts that's when the envy starts because now you know people have been in your personal space they know what your home looks like they know what your they know what it smells like you know going in your refrigerator so now they have a reason to judge you now they have things to judge you by like you know oh they think they're all that because they have a 65 inch um, flat screen tv or you know they think they're the bomb because they have ashley furniture and you know not to say that we have or don't have those things um you know but i myself you know i work hard i love beautiful things i love creating a home you know for my husband and my son you know that is top priority you know when my husband comes home from work i like to have it clean i like to have it smelling good i like to have the bed made um you know and and now i you know i think i'm starting to rub off on him because you know he'll come in and like he'll grab the air freshener and he'll just you know spray around the house you know get it smelling nice and good and you know things like that and you know even sometimes my son will come in and he'll be like oh you know it's clean in here it's a priority you know what i'm saying but um yeah just want to you know just wanted to share that with you guys you know for whoever is in a relationship you know just keep in mind um you know and if you and if you want to use my little prayer or you know whatever um you know try it for a week two weeks 30 days you know what i'm saying and just keep that you know in your subconscious mind you know what i'm saying because like i told my husband we definitely have to stay in prayer because if we don't when things you know like if we have like a little squabble or something and we're not keeping prayer in the center you know what i mean now we are allowing the enemy to overpower us and control us and now we're yelling and we're fighting and we're arguing and you know we're not talking things out like adults you know what i'm saying so when i wrote this down it, it was like it was such a big relief you know what i'm saying and and i was actually i was working my husband's back earlier and he's like what are you doing <laughs> I was just like, oh, you know, nothing, I'm just, you know, I'm just praying, and, you know, but really, I was, you know, I'm going to read it to you guys one more time, this is what I was saying in my mind, you know what I'm saying, getting it embedded in my subconscious, you know what I mean, enemy, you cannot have me and my boyfriend's relationship, enemy, you have no power over me and my boyfriend's relationship, we are stronger together, almighty grace, bless my husband give us divine strength to overcome the events that took place between us yesterday and today and I, I really love that actually I really love that ending part because you know that's like actually setting the tone that you know for each day you know because we never know if today is going to be a good day I mean we can we can be intentional about having a beautiful day a great day you know what I'm saying? But it might not always turn out that way. So by saying, give us divine strength to overcome the events that took place between us yesterday and today, I feel like that is, you know, I feel like we're putting out into the universe, like, okay, no matter what comes at us, you know what I mean? We're going to keep the almighty in the middle. We're going to, you know, we're going to stay in prayer. You know, we're going to communicate. We're not going to allow other people, you know, to dictate whether we should be together or not or whether we should you know xyz xyz because people are always going to have their you know opinions about you or who you're with etc but anyway you guys it's getting dark out here i don't want the video to start getting blurry because i can see it starting to you know get a little blurry but um sending all you guys big hugs lots of love lots of positive energy and um, you guys can actually follow me on Facebook, um, Tracy Williams, or you can follow my author page, author T. White. And the link to my books, you guys can actually also download my books, leave me some reviews, share with your friends. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at the real underscore Miss Tracy White, and that's M S T R A C White. C white, <laughs> C Y. So the real underscore Miss Tracy White. And you can follow my. Sorry guys, I stutter a little bit, but 
you know, it's okay. But um, you guys can also follow my online store page. It's going to be 3am underscore. Oh, God. <laughs> I forgot my own social media. Um, oh, 3am clothing boutique underscore successful. So that's 3am clothing boutique underscore successful. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. All right, y'all. Bye.